From the Sunflower Shop, this is the Healthy Approach Podcast. I'm Brian Bradford. Your immune system's army has many components to it. It needs the proper ammunition to fight all enemies, foreign and domestic. If this ammunition is low, a cascade of explosions or inflammation can arise. Today's conversation is about building an immune army, supplying that army, and fighting the enemy with ease. To help us do that is my guest, Terry Limeron. He's a natural health expert with over 45 years experience. He has owned health food stores, founded dietary supplement companies, and formulated over 400 products. Terry is a published author of three books and a host of a popular radio program called Terry Talks Nutrition. His continual dedication, energy, and zeal are part of his ongoing mission to improve the health of America. Welcome to the show, Terry. Well, thank you very much. I'm very happy to be here, and it's a pleasure to be with you today, and I hope we have some really good things to say to the people out there to help them improve their health and uh, make a change in people's lives. Yes, I, that's what I love about your mission statement, to improve the health of America. And that's just today's conversation is just another step in that direction that we want to help people really understand the whole process or what's going on in the body when we're dealing with inflammation or mood swings like anxiety or anxiousness and even the immune system. So why don't we just start there and let's talk about those three topics because people often focus on one or the other, but really these systems are influenced by each other. So when we pick up a bacteria or a virus, it kicks off a chain of reactions in the body. And I really want you to help us understand what's happening during this chain of reactions. Well, I think sometimes the, some of the scientists don't know either. It's really well, not very well defined. Uh, but, you know, I have a theory, and I think there are some people out there that are in the scientific community, because I'm not a scientist, I'm not a doctor. Um, but I, I believe that inflammation is at the bottom of all of our diseases. I it's agree. the root cause of all of our diseases. 98% of our diseases are caused by inflammation. 98% of our diseases can be prevented and controlled by you and I. We are more responsible for our health than any other doctor or professional out there. And inflammation, we all walk around with a certain degree of inflammation. Now, we can control that amount of inflammation. A lot of it is caused by refined carbohydrates, by sugar, by stress, which we'll be talking about today as well. Uh, also by omega-6 fatty acids, which are pro, all these are all pro-inflammatory. And obesity and overweight and just being over fat, all the fat cells that we have in our body are spewing out inflammation uh, every day. So we are highly inflamed. And then all of a sudden we have this virus to contend with or a viral infection. And that exaggerates the inflammation to such a point that we have a, 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 a cytokine storm and that inflammation gets to be so exaggerated that it's fatal in some people's cases. Uh, we can die from being highly inflamed, and they're finding a way not to be able to control that today. There's not a drug that can control that amount. Uh, they're, they're working on a vaccine, which may not be too far um, away at this point. Uh, but we have the best vaccine available in our body, and that is our immune system. And we can take care of our immune system by reducing stress, and we can't get rid of stressful situations, but we can reduce the stress based on those uh, based on those conditions. We can control it. We can control it with meditation, with prayer, with exercise, with with getting outside and breathing some fresh air, and also some nutrients that we can reduce the stress of our lives. We can learn how to cope with our stress. So that takes a whole uh, a, a tremendous amount of of the stress off our bodies, and so that it reduces the inflammation as well. Uh, but we can eat better. We have control over what we eat. Uh, so that makes a huge difference in our lives. And I say, you know, I kind of look like our immune system is like the army of a country. The army is there to protect against a foreign invasion. Our immune system is there to protect against a foreign invasion. So we have the tools, but many people don't have availability to those tools. Tools like vitamins and minerals. And I, I always point out four vitamins and two minerals that are extremely essential for the health of the immune system. The army of the country has its tools. They have the armor division, you know, the, the Air Force. We, uh, we can fight back against battles. And we are, setting, we are fighting right now against the battle of the COVID-19. So we can fight against it. 
but people today aren't eating enough good nutrition to have the vitamins and minerals in their diet in their lives but in their life in their life daily um I think zinc and selenium are extremely important, and I have a lot of data on that. I can have some studies that I can cite. Um, but 1.2 billion people around the world are deficient in zinc and and and, and selenium. Uh, you know, many people are just so deficient, and and they've proven in studies, animal studies at least, that when they use a ventilator, that if those patients are deficient in zinc, they die from the ventilator. Now. I don't think anybody has brought that up publicly, but there are good animal studies that have indicated that. So, you know, we're a walking, inflamed, burning condition, and we get so over-inflamed that we have a severe outcome of the virus or people die from it, unfortunately. I totally agree, Terry. Inflammation is definitely the root of most of the issues. And I know there's good inflammation and bad inflammation, but today we're talking about the tools or, like you said, the ammunition that our Army needs to deal with this type of problem. So let's go through some other nutrients or herbs out that are available out there that people can do to help modulate this inflammation response by the body. Well, there are, to me, there's four vitamins and two minerals that are extremely essential and, you know, all vitamins and minerals are essential. That's why they were classified as vitamins and minerals that we can't live without. And, and we need to get them daily. A lot of these nutrients don't stay in the body longer than 24 to 48 hours. Some of the minerals might stay up to a week to two weeks. But if we don't replenish those, we are going to be very deficient in nutrients. And we need those nutrients to support the immune system. For First of all, vitamin A. Vitamin A fights infection, not beta carotene. Beta carotene has been used, and I think it's gotten to be used so frequently and often that we forget about the real vitamin A, the straight vitamin A, the retinol form. Uh, beta carotene has to be converted into vitamin A. There are some people that actually cannot convert beta carotene into vitamin A. A lot of the diabetics cannot do that. Uh, so we are not getting vitamin A, which fights infection. We know that vitamin A is necessary for fighting infection. infection. Then vitamin C. How often do we get vitamin C and how long does it stay in the body? Very, very short time. It's water soluble, stays in the body for a short period of time. Uh, so within uh, four or five hours, in some cases, we lose all of our vitamin C. Uh, so we have to replenish it several times during the day. Uh, also, then we have vitamin E and vitamin D. And we could probably spend the whole hour on just vitamin D as to what it has been able to do in all kinds of uh, conditions, even including cancer, but they have found in many studies today, vitamin D is really related, a deficiency, I should say, related to COVID-19. Um, there's many nutrients, but zinc and selenium are very, very powerful. Zinc actually is, a, is the nutrient that increases the size of the thymus gland. As we age and get older, it gets smaller and shrinks, but it can double the size of the thymus gland, which is the gland that controls the immune system. Uh, zinc is extremely important to uh, correct the conditions of viral infection. And selenium. You know, many people today don't, don't put selenium into that category, but there's some really, really good research that comes out of uh, Chapel Hill, North Carolina, that they have, uh, they have litters of animals. They're animal studies. And they put all the litter of the animals on a chow diet for rats, normal diet, but one section of that diet is deficient in selenium. The other diet is plenty of selenium. And what they find out is that those that have plenty of selenium, they may get sick, but it's mild to moderate. But if they don't have any selenium, the virus become virulent, it kills, and many of the animals that are on a deficient selenium diet die. So these, nut and nobody wants to talk about nutrients in our community. Doctors don't want to mention it. There's a few that have come out, but not very frequently. But what would it hurt to take some of these pa patients that have COVID-19 or we could say just help prevent, you know, we're looking for a vaccine, artificial vaccine. We have our own vaccine, which I call the immune system. Why don't we just make it healthy? Why, you know, healthy people don't get sick. So those people that are getting sick are sick already. And it's just a, it's a straw that broke the camel's back. I agree. And, and all those vitamins and minerals you just mentioned, that, that is the core foundation for the immune system to operate, right? 
Absolutely, absolutely. Those yeah. four vitamins and two minerals are the core. That would be, you know, that would be the army. That yeah, would no. actually support the immune system in all different ways because we have many different cells in the immune system that do different um, activities in order to communicate with each other and and wipe out the, the foreign invasion, whether it be a bacterial infection, a fungal infection, or viral infection. That's right. This is the way that we should hold back and, and be able to eliminate all those kinds of infection by having a strong immune system. And, and I really like that you pointed out that vitamin A, the retinol form, how important it is, because you're right, a lot of people seem to have forgotten about all the research behind retinol form of vitamin A, and everybody sort of leaned towards beta carotene, you know, if they're even doing that. But overall, I do agree with you. I think that's one of my core products I make sure all my customers get. I do too. I make sure that, in fact, I have, I take more than what uh, most people would want to take, but, you know, there's no harm in it. And we, we have so little knowledge of nutrition. The, the nutrition that was done that we know today was done 70 years ago. And we're still trying to depend on 70-year-old data. Uh, things have changed. You know, we see vitamin D, um, 400 units recommended by the FDA. Uh, today, people are taking five to 10,000. Uh, and I think everybody should have a test done. And I recommend that, you know, you can do it through laboratories. You don't have to go to your doctor. You can go to ZRT labs. You can have it done by yourself. Um, I did you're that. To, Terry? The vitamin D test. The vitamin D, I totally agree. Know how yes. much you're taking. Know about how much you're getting. That's right. Uh, we want to be somewhere between, uh, I would say, 65 to 80 uh, nanograms per uh, 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 deciliter of, of blood. Um, most people, most doctors say 30, but I like to get up way over 50. I totally um, agree and I would take, I'm taking 10,000 units of vitamin D. So I say, I'm going to have my, my vitamin D level checked. And it was just a hair above low normal. So 50 is low, low normal in my, in my estimation. And I was like 52, 53. So I cranked it up to 20,000 units for a couple of uh, months. And now I'm up to the 60, 65 range. So I think we should all check to make sure we, yeah, hey, I take 5,000. Well, is that enough? I know a young lady's taking 10,000 and she had her check at 19. So and we need to know, really know what we're dealing with. That's right. The only way you yes, really get know is tested. to get tested. I totally agree with that. Absolutely. So, so that's a great foundation, at least to make sure you got those nutrients for your immune system. Let, let's move into inflammation itself then. You know, here at the store, Sunflower <laughs> Shop, we're always, you know, talking about turmeric or curcumin, and that's a big confusing topic for a lot of people. So could you sort of break down the difference between curcumin and turmeric herb? Okay, well, turmeric or turmeric is the plant that contains a, comp a compound, a key ingredient, a, a principal ingredient called curcumin. It's found in the root of the plant, the underground portion of the plant. Uh, it would commonly call, or it should be called technically the rhizome. It's not a really a root classified, but we would look at it, you and I would look at it, anybody else would look at it and say, that's the root of the plant. Uh, a, 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 a technical person, a botanical expert would say, that, oh no, that's the rhizome. Well, whether or not what it is, it contains about two to four, maybe at most 5% curcumin. Well, now that's too low to have any really good medicinal effect. I love turmeric. I love turmeric. I have it in my spice section in my kitchen. When I make eggs, my eggs are orange. When I make soup, I, I put all kinds of turmeric in it or turmeric. I put it, I marinate my meats with it. I use it everywhere. I love the taste of it. It's healthy. Why not use it? But if we want to really challenge the, um, the immune system or inflammation, or any other aspect of the body, we need curcumin. And we need it standardized. We need it to be extracted and, and in, increased in, in quantity. So they standardize it up to 95%. They keep extracting it out of the root until they are able to extract up to 95%. They standardize it at that level. And then the big problem with curcumin and even turmeric, which is another reason, it's very, very difficult to be absorbed. It's fat soluble. Fat soluble components are very difficult to be absorbed systemically. So they were looking for ways to increase the absorption. Well, there's one called curcumin BCM95 that is mixed with a blend of turmeric essential oils. 
that are high in tumorones, and the tumorones found in the oil are just as powerful as the curcumin found in the plant. So now you got two really very powerful components working together, synergistically together, and they are bound together. So that increases the absorption up to 700%, and it stays in the body because it's fat soluble, it may stay up in the body up to 12 hours. So you have a really high level of absorption. It's sustained in the blood and, and a good, a good uh, uh, sustained time in the blood, stays there for a long period of time. So it can help a lot of the conditions of the body to be healthier. And in, in fact, in India, they call it the all-in-one solution because it does everything. They have grown up with it. It's it part of their culture. Uh, they hang it in their kitchen for like a good luck charm. They actually give a bouquet of curcumin turmeric to the married couple for prosperity and good luck and good, you know, uh, happiness. Um, they, they use it for baptizing the babies. It's just like it, it's their number one form of, of medicine in India. They even have, in fact, Johnson & Johnson, who would never do it in the U.S., but they have made Band-Aids for the country of India with curcumin on the little pad of the Band-Aid. When you put it over the ouch, it's, yeah, the, the turmeric is already there. They actually put it right in the Band-Aid. I did not know so that. So when I was over in India, I bought a package of that because I wanted to show everybody how they, you know, Johnson & Johnson, a, an American company, is making products for India. Why aren't they doing that here? That's a great question. Yeah, why aren't they doing that here? Exactly. So turmeric is the benefits. culture. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Exactly. So what other herbs or nutrients are good for inflammation, especially the acute inflammation issues? What would you use? Well, there are some very interesting plants for that. I, I like French grapeseed extract. French grapeseed extract is a very, very good, powerful antioxidant and also an anti-inflammatory. Now, really, inflammation is the core of all the diseases. But before that, previously, we have to worry about, are we getting enough antioxidants? Because we have a lot of oxidative damage. Oxidative damage is like having iron or metal out in the climate exposed. It rusts. In fact, you can have, you know, why, why do they paint the Golden Gate Bridge over and over and over and over again? Because it's in a salt, misty, foggy, moisture environment. And that damages the metal of the bridge. So they don't want it to collapse like some bridges do. As they get older, the metal wears out because of the climate, because of the salt air, or because of the, of the right. snow in the certain areas. They salt the roads. They salt the bridges. That destroys it. Metal is destroyed by oxidation. Our cells are destroyed by oxidation. The more oxidation that we have, the more inflammation we have. So they go hand in hand. Grapeseed extract is one of the most powerful antioxidants in the world, in nature. Uh, we look at like blueberries. Blueberries have a 6,000 ORAC value. Cranberries have a 9,000 ORAC value. Chocolate, which is touted all the time, it has a 4,000 ORAC value. Curcumin has 1.5 million ORAC value, and French grapeseed extract has 2.1 million ORAC value. Very, wow. very powerful antioxidants, anti-inflammatory, and that's why they work. And if, if you wanted to say, what would I take for one or two things in the world, grapeseed extract and curcumin. Mm -hmm. What about Boswellia? How are you with Boswellia? Boswellia is a very, Boswellia is a very interesting, it doesn't have the wide range of, of, of medicinal values as curcumin and French grapeseed extract. Uh, but it is an anti-inflammatory. But what, it, what I like about it and what's so impressive about it is, you know, we, curcumin is a COX-2 inhibitor. Everybody understands when they get a drug, the doctor says this is a COX-2 inhibitor because COX-2 is an enzyme, a pathway in the body that, that produces inflammation, pain. Uh, if you have an over over accelerated um, COX-2, you, you have high levels of, of the prostaglandins, you're going to have inflammation, you're going to have pain, you're going to have a lot of other complications. So they give you a COX-2 inhibitor. There is no 5-LUX inhibitor, which is another pathway in the body, another enzyme in the body that also deals with inflammation and pain. There isn't even a drug available today that inhibits the 5-LUX enzyme. Boswellia does. And Boswellia does it in a very, very friendly and gentle way. You know, you don't want to destroy the, 
the enzymes. You don't want to destroy the pathways. That's already been done by the drug companies. They came out with a drug called Biox. Biox was a COX-2 inhibitor. It was so effective that people that had arthritis, it was gone. Anybody that had pain, it was gone because they killed the, five, the, the, the COX-2 inhibitor, but you can't live without it. And that's what they did. They killed it so severely that people started dying because they did not have the COX-2 inhibitor there to be available. And after 37,000 deaths attributed to the COX-2 in inhibition by Biox, finally the FDA took Biox off the market. It was, it was too good because it destroyed it. Curcumin on the COX-2 and Boswellia on the five blocks, when they're overbalanced, over excessive or underbalanced, they modulate them. They balance them. And that's what nature is all about is balance. You don't want to put something out of balance or under balance. You want it to be in balance. That's what nature does. It's gentler. It's, it's quieter. It's softer. Um, it gets the job done, but it takes a little bit more time. Uh, but sometimes we have to work with it because, you know, our diet causes inflammation. Why are we eating a diet of inflammation and buying a pill to get rid of the inflammation? I mean, it doesn't make sense. So my big thing when I'm doing my radio shows or do, doing lectures, diet is number one. You got to you got to change the way you live. And then if you still have some inflammation, then curcumin and French grapeseed extract and Boswellia. Yeah, but Boswellia well. works extremely well on joint structure and function. Yes. So it gets yes. rid of arthritis pain. And it plays a very synergistic role with curcumin as well, too, right? Boswellia. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's a one-two punch. That's right. That, exactly. That's the, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a really, really good combination. Yeah. Uh, and with COVID going on and so forth, you know, a lot of attention in, an herb is getting right now is andrographis. So could you speak to a little bit more to andrographis and its benefits with the immune system? I, I love andrographis. Andrographis is, it has such a wide range of benefits. It's almost like a complete tonic for the body. It's a tune-up for the body. Cold and flu. Studies show that within two or three days, you'll be over the cold and flu where if you don't do andrographis, it may be five to seven to 10 days. Um, viral infection, upper respiratory tract infection. And there are studies, good studies. There's about 8,000 studies on infection on andrographis. Very, very good studies. Uh, also for liver disease, fatty liver disease, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, extremely good. Uh, it, I take andrographis every day because I think it's one of the most, um, and also highly anti-inflammatory. Mm -hmm. And I just ran across a great study that just came out of the uh, New City of Hope Hospital in um, Pasadena, California, where they uh, worked with andrographis and a drug called 5-FU. 5-FU is a, is a cancer drug that they use all the time for colon cancer, but it's it's very, very toxic. It's toxic to the cancer, but it's also toxic to, to the patient. So when the patient, patient is not getting better, they have a resistance to the 5-FU drug. You can't increase the drug because you'll kill the patient before the cancer. And so they're looking for ways to kind of get some kind of a uh, complementary or an alternative, an adjunct to the drug to make the drug more effective and reduce the toxicity and reduce the liver damage. So they did a study with andrographis and 5-FU. Now when they gave, uh, this, these were, they, this was done on, on uh, colon cancer tumors. When they gave the 5-FU, it was effective to a certain point. They gave them andrographis without the drug and they're almost exactly the same. In fact, almost a little bit better on the andrographis than they did on the 5-FU. Wow. Now when they put those two together, it was far more effective together, and they were able to reduce the dosage of the 5-FU, it reduced the toxicity to the drug, and gave the patient better results without so much damage. But andrographis is, andrographis is one of my top immune products. Now, mm -hmm. I, you know, here's what I have a problem with. A lot of people look for something like elderberry, andrographis, propolis, all these are very, very powerful anti-inflammatories. Mm -hmm. But we can't do it alone. We need the essential vitamins and minerals as a starting point. And then add 
the Boswellia, excuse me, the Andrographis, or the, the Propolis, or the Elderberry. Uh, they do have an effect. Elderberry, for example, is another one too, because it actually prevents the uptake of the virus into the cell. It prevents the, the, the latching and the, the docking of the, of the um, virus to the host. Uh, there's benefits, but it'd be much easier if you could say, I'm taking all the vitamins and minerals, and then I added one of these very, right. very powerful immune herbs as well. That would be the best combination. I totally agree, Terry. You know, and, and people may be surprised to learn that a lot of emotional ups and downs can be due to a compromised immune system. You know, what can we do if someone feels overwhelmed or nervous or anxious, especially to the times we're going through right now? What would you suggest to do? Well, you know, uh, we did some studies. In uh, fact, when, for example, uh, for pain, when, when you have pain, you're not happy. You're under a lot of stress. Um, you may be very moody. You could be very depressed. You could be stressed out. Uh, you, 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 you walk into somebody's uh, space or you bump into somebody that's got pain and they don't feel good. They may lash out at you. They don't mean to, but they're sick. They're, they're hurting. So in this environment, even with COVID-19 and, and the environment that we're going through and all the things that are happening in this world, everybody is stressed out. Everybody is emotionally spent. And it, they're not doing very well. That's right. And it's all based on the immune system as well. A healthy immune system is going to give you a healthier emotional stability. It's everything. But I find there's a very good herb made. It was, actually, was, it was studied in the um, Hungarian Academy of Sciences in Budapest, Hungary, they uh, actually looked at 300 different herbs and they looked at the value of those herbs and how they responded genetically to reducing aggressiveness, behavior, stress, irritability, uh, all those conditions, anger, uh, sleeplessness. And they found that if there's a certain species of echinacea, echinacea and gustifolia, but most people take that for cold and flu. I've asked a lot of people, why do you take a condition? Well, cold and flu. Well, this is a very unique chemical composition that's extracted from the echinacea. Our, you know, plants have multiple components. A drug has one molecule, drug, uh, and herbs have thousands of molecules. And all those molecules are used differently in the body. And in, in, in echinacea, there is a group of compounds called alchemites, very similar to cannabinoids. And it works on the function of the brain cells and, and, and how we resist the, the excitability of the brain cells. Um, so people that are stressed out, they have occasional anxiety, um, they don't perform, perform well under, under pressure, they don't want to give a presentation. Uh, you know, they can even get to the point where they'll vomit or throw up or, or even have diarrhea. Um, so the sick in Asia, within, within minutes, takes the edge off the stress. And, and people that have really severe um, anxiety, it actually helps them get off medication under their physician, of, uh, under the supervision of their physician. But you know, you, even some of the drugs that are out there like, like Xanax uh, for, for anxiety, uh, there's research that shows that they make your brain worse. Uh, if, you, if you stay on Xanax or Librium for 184 days, and, and that period of time, whether it be consecutively or, 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 or periodically, but when you reach 184 days of the damage of those drugs, they have found that you're 90% assured of being having Alzheimer's disease. Mm. So, wow. you know, these, these drugs are more dangerous than they are helpful. And there are herbs out there that can be just as, as effective. But the quality comes into, into challenge then because a lot of people are not knowing what to buy and how to buy it. And, you know, we've seen that with some herbs that are spiked and not even the, not even the same herb that they, they call it on the label. It's actually, it's actually completely different. Mm -hmm. But people are buying these and thinking they're getting good health or, or good results or good effectiveness, but they're buying, they don't know what they're buying. So it's always good to go to a health food store and talk to the staff and get the best advice possible. Yeah. And just to be clear on that, Terry, I mean, I'm just, just like you said, I've seen echinacea study after study to help with immune system, colds and flu, and so forth, but I hadn't seen a lot of it on the anxiety side. So you're saying it's the echinacea and gustafolia? That's the particular species? In the, the, the end, gustafolia, yeah. Okay. It's the English, it's, it's the herb that grows in America. 
That's the right. potpourri is the German uh, type of echinacea or the European. Uh, this is the Indians used it hundreds of years ago. Um, but there is a compound in there that's different. See, when we take it for cold and flu, we're taking it for the echinacids, all the polysaccharides. But when we use it for anxiety, it's the alchemides, and that's a very small dosage. When you take it for cold and flu, you might take 250 to 500 milligrams of echinacea three, four, five times a day. But the alchemides, it's very, very small dosage, 20 milligrams, maybe 40 milligrams once or twice a day. And for people that can't sleep, it's a good product for sleeping. And you can even give it to children over the age of four. It's great for, for, for pets. Uh, it's, we've had fantastic results for pets that crawl out of the bed when there's fireworks or thunder. Um, they have separation anxiety. And the whole family go, to, go away to work and school. And the, the dog is left home alone. And the dog goes berserk. Um, it works fantastically for pets. And since it's such a small dosage, can you take this for a prolonged period of time? You can take it indefinitely for as long as you need to take it. Okay. Wow, that's great. That's there great. are some people that will want to take it indefinitely when they've been on medication. There are some people that will say, well, I only get upset. I only get nervous when I have to fly. Or when, when my boss calls me in the office. Or when I have to give a presentation. It just, you know, I, I, I start to get my hands start to sweat. I get kind of sweat running down my back. I don't feel good. I'm getting nauseated. And if they take one or two of the echinacea, and they do that maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half before the, the, the time. Um, I've had people say that I can't stand flying. And I, a lady told me, she said, my husband and I are going to fly. He hates going. He doesn't want to go. I said, just slip this in his little uh, regimen of vitamins that he won't even know what he's taking. She said he slept on the plane. She said it was fantastic. So it's great for the acute situation and really a prolonged period of time as well. So that, that's, yes, that's absolutely. a great herb. You know, not many people know yeah. that it's great for the anxiety and that, you know, that, that emotional ups and downs that people have, like you're describing. Yeah. Very cool. I fly so, out of Green Bay and I've got some of the TSA uh, people that work in the airport on it because they, you know, they're under a lot of stress and they're on long hours and they started taking it. They love it. So let's summarize all this then, Terry, to help people out. So really, everything begins with diet first, right? We got to change the diet. Oh, absolutely, you know, absolutely. The sugars and the high carbs and all the, all yeah. the that we're doing, putting the body. Because you're right, that's that starts everything right there. And then we need. And if you want to make it easy, excuse me. If you want to make it easy, um, on my website, which is TerryTalksNutrition.com, I have my diet. I call it Terry's diet. It's very, very similar to the ketogenic diet. And I, that's what I follow. I have followed that for, you know, I've had people that have had serious pain, arthritis pain, or other conditions that they were dealing with. And they changed their diet. And that was the biggest change they did. And that improved 90%. They don't have the pain. Totally um, and I, I've, I've injured my shoulder so bad working out, lifting weights. I had about 165 pounds over my head. I was doing five, six reps. So I, could, I said, I could push out one more. Well, I lost it behind me and it ripped my whole pictorial muscle, my shoulder joint out of place. And uh, so oh, this has been a long time ago, but over time, then that just deteriorated faster. So I was having pain. So I went to the doctor and he, he did an MRI, did a, an x-ray and he said, wow. He said, you have no shoulder left. I said, well, how bad can it get? He said, it can't get any worse than it is because it's gone. You don't have any shoulder left anymore. And he knows our products and likes the, the stuff that we, we have. So he said, I'm not going to recommend anything to you. You know curcumin. You know what you need to take. Take the products that, that you know about. And he said, um, do what you have to do. And, you know, with the ketogenic diet, uh, uh, you know, People said they would have nine to 10 on a scale of, of 10 on pain. Uh, mine is like one to two. Uh, sometimes I don't even have a habit from day to day. I think the diet takes off all the inflammation out of the body because, you know, you lose weight, you feel fantastic, you have more vitality, you have more energy. Um, when you raise your fat levels up high, your, 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 your proteins moderately and your carbohydrates down to zero. I'm about 20, 20 grams of carbohydrates a day. Uh, and the American diet is 400 to 500 a day. Right. Uh, you know, 50% of the population is obese of America. I mean, it, it's, it's, we're in terrible shape and it's all diet based. Change the You're diet, right. 
then add the supplements because that is what a supplement is a supplement to the diet like what you're not getting in your diet exactly and, and you're I not totally getting agree. and 50 percent of most disease is caused by diet for sure just to give you an example you would have to eat it you'd have to eat 10 oranges a day to get your vitamin c eight oranges a day to get your vitamin a more so today than our grandparents got in one orange it's amazing so That's our amazing. food has changed drastically so you know diet is that important to help support a healthy immune system you know getting those vitamins and minerals that you discussed earlier oh absolutely foundation you know to deal with that inflammation boswellia curcumin are definitely great anti-inflammatories to start with andrographis i mean especially in today's time definitely a good everyday support at this point and then you you talked about grapeseed you talked about echinacea for that um, that emotional ups and downs of anxiousness and nervousness so that's so that's well rounded and all of that is connected but i agree with you it starts with diet first terry oh absolutely that's the foundation that's where, I mean, we've lived for 3 million years on only diet, only on food. Food is our best medicine. Now in only the last 100 years, we have come to depend on drugs for our health. Drugs don't make us healthy. Drugs only give us more side effects that we need another, then we need another drug to compensate for the side effects of the first drug. And we are 4%, America is 4% of the, of the world's population. And we consume 60% of all the drugs manufactured worldwide we consume 80% of all the drugs manufactured worldwide for pain, and the kids consume 85% of all the drugs manufactured worldwide for kids in America. We're a drug-oriented country, not a nutrition country. We are, especially if Johnson Johnson's putting turmeric in the Band-Aids over in India. Why can't we bring some of that same <laughs> stuff here? I don't get it. Yeah, that right. Sense. Well, Terry, I really, it's been an honor to talk to you today, and I appreciate your 45 years of experience of what you brought to the table today. Thanks so much for being here. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Nice well, to be with you. That's going to do it for this episode of the Healthy Approach Podcast. Please subscribe if you like this podcast and help us spread the word by rating and sharing with your friends and family. If you'd like to learn more about the nutrients we discussed today or improving your quality of life, go to sunflowershop.com, that shop with two P's and an E, or visit us at one of our three locations in the Dallas-Fort Worth area.